Hi, it's Red Snapper and welcome to the Showgirls Closet! Today we're going to look at an attempt to save myself some sewing time that did not work out. Nutmeg's debut came along a little quicker than expected and I knew I'd have to figure out what to do to costume the two of us. So my intention for myself was to have a jumpsuit, very, you know, retro vibe, but also utilitarian. I'd have pockets in case I needed them to hold treat pouches, something very cute. And I wasn't stripping out of it. It needed to be comfortable for managing the dog, convenient, and it needed to look good. As we know, I wound up creating something I used a pattern to build a jumpsuit that was in a, a great color for me and for Nutmeg for her matching dress. But I thought maybe I can order something and pay somebody else to take care of this piece for me because I have a limited amount of time. And it didn't work out, but I did get something very fun. This is a French railroad suit that was custom made by Wolf. I found them on Etsy. And by custom made, I mean they make them to order. So it was a made to order thing. I ordered a large because based on body size, like body measurements, I thought, well, this should give me enough room to move around and I won't feel cramped into this cotton suit. It might shrink. It might not, you don't know. And it was shipped from the United Kingdom. So <laughs> I did my best with the sizing. Now this has a bit more ease to it than I anticipated. I probably could have gotten away with a medium, but the fabric's not as shiny as I needed for stage. And the color is a little too muted. It's more of a terracotta than a proper peach or coral for us. I'm not upset. I didn't leave a bad review for the seller because I was giving it a shot. I wasn't sure what I'd get, but we will try this on and you can see how it fits. Okay, here it is. Now it has these really nice buttons here. It's all separated. I mean, it really is well-crafted. It's pretty incredible. And you can see that I'm swimming in it. <laughs> it's a bit bigger than I expected. Oh, good. The flies buttoned. I thought that large would be like women's large, not large. Mr. Snapper could fit. This is, I'm wearing the tank top underneath it that I wore on stage and we'll pair it with this belt that I had for the costume. You can see that the belt doesn't go very well. It has an elastic waist, but I'm not really using the elastic part of it because it's a little bit bigger than, than I thought. Okay, so this is not the right look. I considered tailoring it. The pockets are amazing though. They're like huge pockets. I considered tailoring this so that I could potentially use it on stage, but no, <laughs> I decided not to tailor it. I'd have to do so much to take in the sides. It has the this great pocket on the bust, right? A really nice big pocket where I could, I don't know, store a sandwich probably. <laughs> but in order to get a more fitted look, I'd need to take in some of the uh, fabric in other places, not just on the sides, I'd need to take in you know, give it bust darts. I'd need to give it back darts so it would be a little more fitted here. And that does nothing for the the saggy crotch. Um, but it's really nice and I didn't want to send it back. It was a little over a hundred dollars and it was, I was a long shot of like, maybe it'll work. It looks great in the pictures. It looks great on the models and it is not right for stage, but I don't know. Maybe I can figure out something, something that I could do with it. Probably not a proper stage performance. If I was still doing monkey wrench, my professional debut act from the scene in Glendale, California in January 
2008. It might have been like January 2nd or 4th or something. Anyway, if I was still doing that act, then this might work for that, but that had a zipper and it was easier to get out of. And this, great belt, but this takes a little bit more. And the buttons, it's so nicely done and well fitted. I mean, this is a retro repro kind of place that these wooden buttons, it takes a little bit of work to get them in and out. Of, oh, that one came out easy. I was gonna say it takes a little bit of work to get them in and out of the buttonholes. Of course, I haven't exhausted this by wearing it all the time, buttoning, unbuttoning, buttoning, unbuttoning, but it's really cute. It's just not right for what I needed it for. And obviously it's made for somebody who's a lot taller. So if I was, if I was way taller, <laughs> it might fit a little better, but it's still cute. Unlike other things that I roll the dice on and I spend money and I figure out, oh, that's not going to work. This I'm going to hang on to because it may just have a place in my life where I could use it without, I don't want to get it funky because it's, you know, it's really nicely done. Anyway, that's all I have for now. Boop the bell for notifications. Be sure to like and subscribe. And what do you think about railroad suits? Do you have any? Are there other styles or vendors that I should investigate if I find, ooh, I love this. This is my jam to just wear. Tell me in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. And thank you again for watching. You'll see me next time. Bye.